the 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 things going on in in the United States is really really unfortunate because first the Democrats the Hollywood elites the media the fake news media have been trying to promote the violence the Antifa the media for example the slate for example they said that violence is is justified they've been saying that or Chris Como for example defended violence Chris Como the fake news broadcaster um, defended the use of violence and uh, and he said where does it say that protests should be peaceful really where does it say that protest should be peaceful? It's in the Constitution, you moron. He said that. And a lot of media, media apparatchiks and propagandists from Slate and from other, so, you know, from other uh, news media organizations have been justifying the use of violence. And not only that, it, it, it's kind of complicated, but it's actually simple. All the governors, most mostly the, the, the Democrat states, they released they released prisoners. Okay, they released all these prisoners who committed heinous crimes because of COVID, because of fear of them, you know, contracting contracting the CCP virus. And according to reports, you know, most of the rioters in Minnesota are actually prisoners released by the AG, the Attorney General, by the state. Okay, so if we're going to check on that, if we're going to consider all this, you know, this is a manufactured crisis in the U.S., considering that, again, the difference is the, the riots and, you know, violent protests in the United States is a manufactured crisis funded by the liberal elites in the Hollywood and being promoted by the fake news media, being justified by the fake news media. We have a slate.com claiming that this is not violence or it needs to be violence. A protest needs to be violent, they say. They, they, they are encouraging the use of violence. And the riots, for example, uh, they simply victimize. They end up victimizing. The looting, the riots, they end up victimizing ordinary people like this woman okay uh, who owned partly the business that was looted and destroyed by the black black thugs the night before the problem that bothers me you said black lives matter i work here part-time plus i'm a part owner of this store you said black lives matter why don't you choke me? I'm black. Tell Look what you did to my store. Tell them, no. Tell Look what you did to my store. Tell them, sister. That's my, because I got they back. These are my Look. homes right here. Good men. Look at the things you've done. Good men. Look. But Black Lives Matter. We've been here all night cleaning up. All night cleaning. And you got black people now. sitting right here with them. Tell me. That's fine. Black Lives Matter. You're lying. You wanted to the store. You All right, this woman, um, they created a GoFundMe, uh, GoFundMe campaign to support this black lady. Uh, she's very articulate, and um, she's just one of the stories. Again, the guy I mentioned, the former police uh, officer, uh, David Dorn, was killed. Okay, a lot of black people were killed by Antifa and the Black Lives Matter thugs because of what? Because of because of the death of George Floyd who, you know, when he was still alive was actually uh, peaceful. He would not have endorsed this type of violence. The Philippine media, I don't know what they're trying to do by simply uh, spreading all this propaganda, anti-Trump propaganda and pro-Antifa propaganda, pro-violence propaganda without giving us the real context, without giving us the real story behind this, you know, this manufactured crisis. For example, Philippine Star, okay, uh, they've been promoting, you know, celebrities, American celebrities who support this, 
this uh, race war in the U.S. who support this violent protest in the United States. I don't know what they're trying to do. Uh, and not just Philippine Star, like I said, ABS-7, are they trying to... Are they trying to incite Filipino people to violence? Yeah, the the best example, the best analogy or uh, comparative uh, case that we have here is the killing by a police cop of uh, Winston Ragus, a former soldier, you know, who was killed by a police officer just after a few days when President said, uh, "Shoot them dead." Okay, but. But to give the full context of President's speech, I'm not defending him. I'm I'm anti Duterte. By the way, he said shoot them dead if you're if you're trying to simply defend yourself. But there's nothing that the the that the policeman had to defend that that very moment because Mr. Winston Ragus was not armed at all, and they planted evidence afterwards. And Mr. I don't know. I don't even know what he violated probably the quarantine and why did they have to kill him and that's the that's the best you know a uh, comparative case that we could have the killing of winston ragus versus the killing of george floyd in the united states winston ragus was shot dead without any mercy at all by a police man okay and george floyd was killed in front of a lot of people killing was videotaped it was recorded and nobody dared to help whereas you know the killing of Winston Ruggs a lot of people were came Filipino people you know condemned the killing right there and then that's a difference okay and and not only that the, the killing of George Floyd happened in a liberal city ruled by Democrat mayors, councilmen, etc., and uh, under you know a, a Democrat state, you know Minneapolis, Minnesota. It's Minnesota. It's Min Minneapolis is a solid, solid Democrat state ruled again by Democrat politicians, police officers, etc. So that's the difference. And uh. All right, so let me just show you the, the misinformation and fake news being spread by our local media. Okay, CNN Philippines, okay, it's mother network whose, whose anchor, Chris Como said, where the hell does it say that, that, that a protest should be peaceful? Again, it's in the Constitution, you moron, you Fredo. He's, he's, he's being called Fredo for some reason. According to CNN, uh, they're trying to, you know, after George George Floyd's death at the hand of Minneapolis police, thousands, okay, why the hell do you need to promote that? They've been promoting uh, the Antifa. Our Philippine media have been promoting Antifa and the violent Black Lives Matter. I don't know what they're trying to do. Are they, are they this is just my theory, okay? Are they trying to incite people to be, to riot or to commit violence. I don't know. In ABS-CBN, countries with a liberal populace <laughs> where, you know, where the virus is growing the most, according to this report. And I responded, hey, ABS-CBN, I said, you need to fire the moronic guy picking liberal newswire fake news stories. I strongly believe you have the right to exist as a news organization in, in the Philippines, despite spreading too much fake news sometimes. Okay, you, stories like these are, you know, news wires. Okay, they simply buy stories from news wire organizations like AP, AFP, Bloomberg, etc. So someone is picking these stories at ABS CBN and posting them on Twitter. And I said, since you're spreading New York Times fake news, because this is from New York Times, by the way, the CCP virus is pre pre prevalent in Democrat and liberal states like New York. So if, you, if, if you've been following news in the U.S., the states with the highest cases of coronavirus are all Democrat, Democrat states, right? For example, New York. 
California, New Jersey, Michigan. These are all Democrat states. And the state with the most number of deaths, coronavirus deaths, is New York. Why? Because its governor, Andrew Cuomo, forced nursing homes to admit coronavirus patients. And because of that, a lot of old people died of the coronavirus. Despite the fact he did that, Andrew Cuomo, the governor, the Democrat anti-Trump governor of New York, he did that despite the fact that President Trump, you know, converted a battleship into a coronavirus patient clinic, okay, or quarantine facility and converted the Jaffetz Center into a coronavirus facility. But no, Andrew Cuomo did not do that. The governor of New York, a Democrat governor, did not do that. You know, he, he doesn't want to give Trump, you know, the win. Instead, he, he converted, he used and forced nursing homes to admit coronavirus patients. And because of that, a lot, thousands and thousands of old people died. All right. That's a story that are, you know, local uh, news organizations like ABS-CBN, JMA7, Inquirer, Philippine Star, Manila Bulletin won't tell you. I'm just wondering why these fake news media organizations in the Philippines have been spreading anti-Trump stories when, you know, Trump is the biggest enemy of China. That's the irony. And uh, if you're going to follow, you know, the, these global affairs closely, the third day is pro-China. He's a puppet of China, basically. One of the biggest puppets of China in Asia. And um, the timing is there. The third day seems like following the lead of, of China. So, for example, uh, our lockdown measures were like copied from the Wuhan lockdown measure. And after that, China passed the you know, uh, national security law to, tar to target Hong Kong. Okay? China made sure that Hong Kong is gonna be, it's not going to be independent. And now we have this anti-terror bill. Days, you know, before China passed the national security law that a that is gonna be aimed at targeting Hong Kong critics. Okay. And the only ally, the biggest ally of China in the Philippines is the third day. In the West, the biggest ally of China are the Democrats. Imagine that. You know, if, if, if you're wondering if I'm telling the truth, just do your own research. The biggest ally of China in the U.S. are the Democrats, the liberals, the fake news media. In fact, China doesn't have to send propagandists in, white, in the White House to attend press briefings because they have CNN, they have MSNBC, they have New York Times, they have all these liberal media organizations uh, trying to carry the water for China and uh, not only that the biggest uh, media te techs companies on earth Google Facebook Twitter are pro-China and a lot of people have been banned and suspended for simply tweeting and posting anti-CCP or anti-China you know post and this is not the conspir conspiracy theory on Facebook, for example, if you're going to... I was banned by Facebook for posting anti-CCP or anti-China, you know, posts about coronavirus. I was banned. It was disabled. And a lot of people were banned as well. Who's, a lot of people whose account were, accounts were disabled as well by Facebook for simply posting anti-China stories or posts. And, and Google and YouTube have been demonetizing people as well for simply posting vlogs against China. So why the heck, you know, 
our local media is trying to help China, it's trying to help China by spreading all this anti-Trump propaganda.